Alright, so, uh... I got a little something here that I wanted to show y'all. Like, do you just hate, hate, hate when people just string together a bunch of low sweep kicks and shit? Because, I mean, don't get me wrong, the last new deck I made, it was alright. You know, I had some things I could use against that shit. But it wasn't the best at handling it. And plus, it, there was just some other things that uh, needed to be worked out as well. Because they just weren't working. So I made this new school deck here to deal with that shit. And, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I think it, for what it is, it's good. Uh, a lot of... A lot of uh, you got some uh yeah uh, I, I don't how do I go about doing this <laughs> I can't talk right now but uh, yeah I got this for a cult school I suppose because with the other styles you can you can kind of get around all that low sweep crap but with cult you can't really get it unless you've got like a a like a, a move you can use at the like you can just throw out like back trip kick or jump light kick just to get around that shit. But uh I don't like jump light kick because I just don't like it. And uh <laughs> and because it's straight. I mean it's it's you know, it's easily dodgeable. Well, you know, I c I fight a lot of a wind fellas sometimes and you know, they, they dodge a lot to the side, so I usually just like to have moves that, you know, like horizontal attacks. So that's why Slap Kick is there, even though it's slow. You know, it'll catch people. I mean, you could put a Jump Black Kick there if you want. You can either, but, uh, you know, it's straight and they'll just dodge it. You know, on the bottom left, there's also uh, Scissors Kick. That you can use it to avoid slow attacks. But the thing about Scissors Kick is that even though it's quicker, it doesn't have as much hang time, so you have to time it. Trust me, I know. And it won't be double whirlwind punch. So Scissors Kick, it's it's slower, but it it does a whole lot more damage, and it has a whole lot more hang time, and it can catch, and it'll catch a sweep. It'll catch. You can e it'll even catch a uh, rollback fist if you you know. And uh, it'll it'll catch uh, the whirlwind fist too, so because it's got a lot of hang time. Yeah, it'll, it'll slap kick can beat a lot of sweeps, so don't sleep on that move. It won't beat Mea Lua or uh, handstand kick, but that's what the uh, roll punch is for. So yeah. Also, the whirlwind punch is there as well. So you know options. But uh, yeah. Deck is a little unorthodox for me because I usually like to have a charge move as an alternate, but in this case, I just put it at the end of a uh, string there because, eh, lately I found myself not being able to use it that much as an alternate, and it doesn't work out for me all the time. Also, the thing is, uh, let's see what else. Uh, fuck. Man, I don't know. Like, you got options. Like, uh, if, uh things to get out of things. You, you'll be probably using that certain palm a lot. But the thing is, you've got options to get out of certain stuff with things. If you want to get out of a certain combo or whatever. I guess I I tried to build it as good as I could while, you know, hitting, making sure I punish people who just spam lows and whatnot, you know? Because I just hate that, man. I can't stand it. I'm like, especially when you're a cult. With other styles, you can somewhat get around it. Somewhat. Stagger's a mixed bag. Windfall, you have, you know, not, not a whole lot of people know how to jump and whatnot. You know, but, uh, you know, if you can catch on, it's you can still get around it. You know, Forsaken, that's, you know, no explanation there. Uh, here are the other, uh, here's the Wargloves deck and the uh, Sword deck for you. 
You know, those are good. They'll catch people. I mean, I've been... I didn't change these very much, because... Honestly, I've never had much problems fighting people, uh, getting people off the ground with this, uh, with this, uh, war gloves deck and this sword deck. That sword deck is probably my favorite out of all the sword decks that I have, though. But, uh, yeah, you may have seen it a bit. But, uh, yeah. You know. I just hate those, uh, those low strings and shit, man. <sighs> but, uh, I'm pretty satisfied with that new, uh, uh, unarmed, uh, deck, the bare hands deck that I made. That's the new school deck, so if you want it, check it out or whatever. And, uh, yeah, you know, Winfield is gonna dodge some shit, but, you know, that's what the alternate attacks for, because they're, oh, like, most of them are horizontal, so, like this guy here, he was, uh, dodging a lot. He's got a lot of straight attacks. If I was Wimp, I would have been... I wouldn't have had much trouble with him. Although, he probably would have dragged out the fight because he backs up a lot. So yeah, here this is the deck in action. It's working quite well, you know. You see that? You, know, you just gotta watch out though. I have a tendency to go for a sl uh, cow bow because it's a fun attack and I like hitting people with it. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it's working quite nicely. This guy here, he backs up a lot, you know, and I don't like, particularly enjoy fighting people who do that, because it's actually quite pretty clever when you think about it, because, uh, it's, it's a subtle, like, just doing it, doing it gives you control over the fight, you know, the sp the, you controlling the flow of the fight, you controlling the space around you, forcing your opponent to try to uh, open themselves up to attack you, and then you just wait for uh, them to uh, like throw it out an attack, like with an attack, and then you just come in and get them. Unless they intentionally with an attack, which I sometimes do, to get, uh, get you with a with a meta attack, like a like a, a strafing move or a sweep, you know. But uh, yeah, this uh, this deck works pretty good against uh, against uh, Winfellas that like to side dodge a lot. Oh, that that was a very nice absorb there. I got. I wasn't expecting it, so I couldn't capitalize on it. But uh, yeah, it was very nice, you know. And uh, you know, it's such a subtle tactic, really, just throws the body off. You gotta, you really. You don't kind of don't notice it until it happened until you maybe later, but until like it's maybe too late, you know. But uh, yeah, slide tactic. <laughs> but yeah, I just designed this deck to catch people who do those uh, low strings a lot, you know, who rely on them a lot, because I don't like that shit, especially when I'm cult, because I I can't hit you, you know, if I don't have anything for that, and I don't really like relying on one particular like, one particular move because then they'll start catching on and there's nothing I can do about it because they'll you know, start absorbing, dodge, avoiding, dodging, whatever. Uh, parrying. Yeah, that kind of thing. So I just don't like that. But uh, yeah, it works pretty well. But uh, man, that guy's moves are straight, man. If I was Wimfall, he wouldn't be able to touch me because too many straight moves, but anyway, yeah, that, that's the stuff, you know, so if you like me and you just hate that shit, you know, maybe check it out or copy it, whatever, I don't care, um, and he uses shockwave a lot, eh, I mean, that's fine, just gotta play more carefully, But, uh, yeah, there it is. Oh. Hey, and it, it's pretty good against the uh, charge attack spam, too, you know. That hand stack kick, uh, well, throw a whirlwind double punch. You got some strafes, eh, for, uh, for that up, uh, uppercut and grab punch. 
Oh, there's also a uh, double fist stretch. I got, but that's at the end of a combo. But you know, still, it, it can work. This guy Tetsuzanko, whatever the fuck he's been out, however the fuck he's been outside, uh, word. So, you know, if you don't dodge it, you know. Well, you probably should be able to dodge it, just maybe delay it a little. And you can hit people with it, but, you know, if they if you throw it out that, uh, a strafing move, and then uh, you won't need to worry if they start an attack attack, because then you get them with the, uh, double whirlwind, but, I mean, well, with the, uh, double fist stretch, yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's all I got. So, yeah, yeah, catch that, uh, catch that shit. Good absorbs and whatnot. It's all, that deck is also a little, little weak for me, but, uh, cause I don't like using it, uh, anything that's like under 90 damage. I don't like to use under ni uh, 90 average damage decks because I just, I just find them to be too weak for me because I like to hit like a truck you know well not exactly like a truck but I like to do I like to hit hard sometimes like I like to have a string a few strings where I can just dish out a few heavy attacks or something like that you know, you know not, not a whole lot of light or medium attacks but you know not just a lot, lot of light and medium attacks but like I like to hit hot, uh, hit, uh, hit with those uh, those heavy moves because they're just so ni uh, satisfying to uh, land with, you know. You know, just uh, put the pressure on somebody, make them panic, make them fight harder. That makes for a good fight. It's a uh, kind of funny, uh, kind of uh, exciting to watch. Kind of funny as well to see him struggle when he's. Uh, when you hit, uh, hit him uh, with a lot of uh, heavy moves, you know, because it's like, God damn, man, what the fuck? What am I going to do, man? I need to back the fuck up, you know? But, uh, yeah, pretty funny. Also, Cowboy. Cowboy is life, and I have it on almost every single one of my decks. Only I don't use it on, like, one deck because, you know, I didn't, uh... I just wanted to, I just, I just, I, I just said to myself, you know what, I can't, I can't always have it on a deck. I, I'm just gonna not put it on this deck, you know, on this one deck, you know. Because, you know, as much as I like going for it, oftentimes it ends up, yeah, it ends up backfiring, like, they could go for a charge move, and I end up slapping them anyway. I'm sure you've seen it already, but, uh. Or I try to go for it and I get interrupted. That move isn't as quick as it looks, uh, as, it, as it's made out to be or something. I mean, it's pretty good. But, duh. I mean, it's pretty slow. Like, it, it as an opener, it's pretty slow. Either you don't want to use it as an opener. You just don't. I mean, unless you've got a move that you're going to follow up with it, you know. Or if you're just confident and you place your spacing right or whatever. You don't, like if you're getting pressure, you don't want to try to interrupt somebody with that, you know. Yeah, I wouldn't even try to, it's probably not a, a really good idea to even get it off of uh, an absorb, you know. You could probably get away with it with a slap or an earthquake. But, uh, you know. Yeah, that move has gotten me in qu quite a bit of trouble because I end up getting hit anyway. Or I get interrupted and I can't get it off. It's funny. Uh, it's just one of those moves that I have to have. Like under knee kick. Under knee kick is just a move I can't get away from for some reason. But it's, uh, yeah. It's not, it's just one of those moves, man. Well, I mean, for sli uh, Cowboy, it's, that's a personal preference. But for under knee kick, I just can't get away from that move because... Uh, you know, lows and shit, and I hate lows, all that. I mean, little sweeps, you know. Go for a sweep? Nope. Get taken underneath kick. Or whatever. And there ain't many solutions to uh, uh, catching people with sweeps, because a lot of the mid moves are. Uh, are uh, the mid hitting moves are quite uh, are like all thrust straight moves, and as I was saying, I, you know the windfall, you know, 
I, I, I fight quite a lot of windfall guys, a lot of new ones that like straight uh, sight uh, void a lot. So I'm like, nah, I, ain't, I can't do, I can't be doing that. All right, here this guy's just messing around. He's like, he's backing up too much. He's opening up with, um, yeah, he's stock waving. He's up backing up. So I was just, I was like, man, I'm just gonna get these gloves on you, and if you keep blocking or whatever, man, I'm just gonna get you with that ship damage. But anyway, yeah, in this next uh, uh, fight uh, around here, he just completely wrecks me and takes my gloves too, man. Uh, anyway, I also don't, I also uh, avoided using, like, I gotta stop saying like, man. I also avoided using uh, sweeps as openers because of the prevalence of uh, jump out elbow. Things like jump out elbow and jump light kick because uh, that shit'll wreck you, man. Like I used to have wobble low kick as a starter on some of my on some of my decks, but uh, when I got pressured, because I choke under pressure, you know, I I try to get off and avoid or something, or I try to parry. Oh well, not not parry now. If you if you're parrying, you should be able to get off an attack. But uh, I try to get off an uh. I try to interrupt an attack or something. I which I really shouldn't be doing, you know, with a faster attack. Because you know, it, but you know, I really shouldn't be doing that. I should be trying to use a defensive ability, but it, with, especially with cult, to and to, and to some extent, uh, stagger. Yeah, well, stack it too, yeah. Sometimes with uh, windfall, this is you get uh, wrecked by jump light kick or uh, jump out elbow. So, wait, did he take my gloves? Ah, man, I'm not paying attention. I'm, I'm trying to explain shit, but I'm trying to pay attention to this fight and explain at the same time, even though I'm not. This is just this is commentary after the fight, man. But yeah because of those things. I even beat no doubt with this. Ah, oh, there he is. Smug bastard. <laughs> it was one round though. So, yeah, it was just one round. It's doing pretty well against him. We went a few rounds before this. Almost won a few rounds, but he's pretty, you know, I did pretty well. I was able to, I usually do pretty terribly against this guy, but I was able to stand, uh, stand up to him pretty well. It also helped that I was, uh, also cult, because any other style, especially stagger, I can't, and I barely can't, I really can't touch this guy. But uh, yeah, probably, sh I probably uh, would not have uh, won this round of yet if he hadn't taken out his sword. But hey, I'll, I'll take what I can get, man. Fuck it, that's on him. <laughs> and uh, yeah, there you go. All right, well, that's it. <laughs>